Are you one of those people who believe that bamboo will not last if you use it for construction? Did you know that if you treat bamboo, it could last for decades? Well, today I'm going to show you two ways to treat bamboo. Simple, low-tech ways. So let's go. Aloha, this is Sean here with Homestead in Hawaii. Bamboo has been utilized in tropical countries throughout the world and throughout history. And they have found ways to treat bamboo with simple, low-tech methods that will allow the bamboo to last for up to 100 years in some places. The fallacy of bamboo just crumbling and eroding away after a few short years is only because people don't know that they need to treat bamboo in order to, for it to last. So today, I'm gonna to show you two simple methods for treating bamboo. Um, one of them is called a bucket method, and another is, if I pronounce it correctly, the Bouchier method, where we uh, pressurize our treatment to be injected into the bamboo. So let's dive into the bucket method first. All we're gonna need is a bucket filled with some water, a little bit of uh, boric acid. This here is a, a roach killer that's pure boric acid. And we're also going to need freshly cut bamboo. And so what we're going to do, we're going to mix 10% boric acid with 90% water. Make sure that it all dissolves. Then we're going to cut some bamboo fresh out of the grove. You have up to four hours to do this if your grove happens to be off-site from where you're going to treat your bamboo. So make it quick. The best way to do it is to do it in the grove. So you can cut the bamboo leave the stalk standing in the grove with the leaves still on and place the bottom end into the bucket. When the leaves are all dead, you know that your um, bamboo is treated and ready to take out of the grove. It's simple as that. That's one method for treating bamboo. All you have to worry about is making sure that you top off the bucket and that not too much rainwater gets in there and dissolves the solution that you have prepared for your bamboo. Let's move on to the Bouchier method and show you how to construct a pressurized treatment system of your own. Before we jump into the next method of preserving bamboo, why don't you just go ahead and hit that like button down below and perhaps subscribe to this YouTube channel. Leave a comment, engage with this channel in any way that you can and help us grow this channel. All right, let's get to it. In order to make the pressure treated system, the Bouchier method, uh, we are just gonna need a few simple parts. We have a two inch pipe, sawzall, air pressure tank, and various fittings for the two inch PVC pipe. Here we have our fitting that's gonna go from the pipe to our air pressure tank. And then you'll need various sized rubber couplings to match up with your bamboo. And I got some socket wrenches in there to make everything all tight. Not too many parts to make this work for you. So we're gonna pressurize our bamboo. We are going to start by cutting our two inch pipe. We're gonna make one section about three to four feet long. A couple short sections just to add the different um, couplings and elbows and whatnot. And a slightly longer one down at the bottom where the rubber coupling will match up with the bamboo. All right, once you have those pipe sections cut, it's good to just rub on the ends and get those burrs off. Could also use another piece and just use that other piece to get the burrs. You know, some people sand these things. You can, but I've never really had a problem without sanding them and I've glued tons of pipes in my day. To glue everything together, we are gonna use some primer and some of this Christie's Red Hot Blue Glue. This stuff is pretty much the best glue for PVC, if your PVC happens to be a little bit of wet, a little bit wet, this stuff will still work. So we're gonna glue our pipes and our elbows and fittings all together with this stuff here. We're gonna start by assembling the bottom. First, a little primer inside your fitting and outside of your pipe. And then a little bit of glue, you know, brush off the excess glue. You don't need too much and just get both sides of your fittings fully covered and then fit them onto each other, giving them a little twist. 
Okay, so that fitting is ready. We're gonna take our longer PVC section that we cut and we're gonna add this on to the elbow here. And then from here, we are going to be attaching our rubber gasket, but we're gonna do that later. Let's move to the top of this device. Okay, so next we're gonna add the elbow. We're gonna put glue inside this part of the fitting and attach it to the top of our, let's call this our stand pipe. The T is facing opposite to the pipe here on this side, okay? So from here, we're gonna add on our little extenders. We're gonna add on our 45 degree joint here, facing upward. So make sure it's facing up. Another piece in order to get another fitting on. This is just one of our short pipe pieces that we cut earlier. And then from here, we're gonna add on this two inch ball valve. And this is gonna be our filler port where we fill in the boric acid solution into the pipe. Making sure to keep the ball valve on the top. All right, one last fitting to put on and we are done. I need a two inch coupling to finish this part and I don't have it. Time to go to the store and get that part. Before we attach the final piece, we gotta screw it all in and tighten it all down. So this is a, a two inch to three quarter inch female fitting. And we're gonna insert this three quarter inch male to half inch female PVC fitting inside this guy like that and then we have this little contraption which is actually made up of three different parts this is a half inch to i believe three eighths inch size reducer and then then we have this guy which is uh three eighths to our our air hose fitting this last piece here is gonna fit on your air hose. And then it just goes right on right there. So let me show you how we're gonna tighten this all together. You can see on these pieces, there's already some orange tape going around them. So these are ready to be tightened, ready to go. But the PVC piece still needs it. So we're gonna put a little bit of plumber's tape on this. So you're just gonna go clockwise around this piece here gonna go around once and then you know and then push it into the threads get that tape deep down in there all right so this is ready to go so next we're gonna take this and hand tighten it into our other PVC fitting I got a pair of vice grips here you could use channel locks or a wrench or whatever you have available we're just gonna tighten this fitting down into the, the female part of this two inch. So pretty much you could just do this by hand. You know, get it down to where it feels nice and tight. You don't want to, you know, turn it too hard because you might crack something. This is PVC, sort of a plastic. Okay, so that, that piece is ready to go. And now we're gonna screw in the other fitting for the air hose. Before we do that, let's get these two pieces tightened up pretty well. And here you might actually need two separate wrenches. And all this is important to tighten before you actually glue the um, piece on to our main standpipe because it's gonna be a little harder to screw all this together. Okay, so I got two vice grips here and they're helping me. Okay, be sure not to over tighten. This piece is good. And now we're gonna tighten it into the other piece. Into this piece, this is gonna go in. Once again, being sure not to over tighten too far, especially now that you have a, a metal piece going into a PVC piece. So now after we go to the store to get our two inch coupling, 
we're going to attach this to our standpipe and we're going to be ready to treat our bamboo. I'm back and I brought with me this uh, 45 degree. They didn't have any couplings at the store, but this will work just fine. We're going to take our contraption here and we're going to put it right up top here. Okay, for me, I'm having the 45 go back towards this uh, valve here. Preferably, we had a straight coupling, but it is what it is. That's what we work with in Hawaii. We don't often have all the supplies that we need whenever we need them. So next, we're gonna glue on this piece here into that 45 degree elbow or coupling that you have. And this is gonna be all done and ready to use. Here is our bamboo treatment device, what they call a bouchier pressure treatment system. Simple as that. Now let's see if it works. Okay, when it comes to treating bamboo, we want to have a nice, clean piece of bamboo that's been washed and, and we wanna make sure that it is pretty freshly cut. No more than 48 hours since the bamboo was cut is appropriate for this treatment process here. So you can see this uh, stock is really clean and it is ready to go for us to, to do our pressure treating. So take your bamboo and slide it into the coupling. If it's not big enough or too big, you just need a different size coupling. And then go ahead and tighten it down. Next, we're gonna take this hose and put it into this male fitting right here this hose the other end of this hose is going to lead to your air compressor all right here's our setup and we're using an old, a chair to prop this device up and you can see that down there it's connected to the bamboo and there's our air compressor that's going to pressurize the system now you want the bamboo to be slightly elevated towards the outlet side of the bamboo and then on the other side we're going to also put a bucket to catch any of the fluid that may come out the other end. Okay, we're gonna start by making our solution. Once again, we're gonna use boric acid as the main agent mixed with water, 10% boric acid to 90% water. Give it a little stir, get it all mixed up. You may have to let it dissolve for a little while in order to get all the clumps out of there. And we're also going to mix in a little red food coloring so we can see if there's any progress on our end. All right, so we're going to turn the valve into the open position. And we're going to pour our solution inside. If you have a funnel, even better. Okay, we are full. I'm going to shut the valve now and we're going to turn on the system. Okay, so once you have the tank pressurized here, you can see over here that I haven't added the pressure going out the hose yet. So we want to keep it real low, like about 5 to 8 psi, no more than 10 to start injecting the pressure into our bamboo. You check here to see if you have any leaks. And this should run for about a couple hours, actually, before we actually start to see the fluid come out the end of the bamboo. We're gonna add a bucket to this end for any fluid that drops off, we can catch and be able to reuse later. You can see that water is seeping out of this node right here. This is the first node of the bamboo from the pressure treatment and it is already getting saturated within 10 minutes of time. It's been about five hours and it may be hard to see but it's fully saturated now and you could even see the red food coloring in the capillaries of the bamboo. So we'll leave about an hour longer and it'll be done. All right, this bamboo is done. It is fully pressure treated. And from here, you would take this bamboo and put it into an area where it could be stored and allowed to stay dry for about two to three months. And then it'll be properly cured and ready to use for construction. This Bouchier method can be multiplied. 
if you have a strong enough air compressor, you can add maybe 10, maybe even up to 20, depending how big your air compressor is. You can add a series of these systems on the same air compressor tank. You could have 20 bamboos curing and being treated all at the same time. I'd love it if you hit a like down below, perhaps leave a comment, let me know if this was helpful or if there's anything more that you need and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I am constantly adding more all the time and I hope that whatever I bring helps you. So thanks for watching everybody. Till next time, ahoy ho!